Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we are saving a few seeds. I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I do it. So today we're saving seeds from a couple of different plants. And this is a green onion. These are just gigantic. I let these ones go. We have other ones that we keep trimmed and we eat. But these are great little cedars. So you can see in here, I just let these flowers stay and completely dry out. I just want them completely dry. And I've got a little bag here that I just wrote green onions on. And I'm gonna put that right in this bag. I kind of just trim it so it falls right in the bag. So then, let's see, we'll put a couple in there. Let's put this one in there too. And you, you can see the little seeds on here. So I'm just going to close my bag up. And you want these to be good and dry. If it's really rainy, you can just leave them in this bag. I throw them on the fridge for a week or so or it's been pretty dry here, so I'm just gonna shake this bag. I just shake the dickens out of it, really, that's it. <laughs> and then, you open it up and you take those two flower heads out. You have got millions of little seeds in the bottom. So then when you pick through, let's see if we can get a good view of this, you just move those little seed flower pieces out and you can see all these little black seeds. And these are your seeds. This is the same for your green onions, your onions. Uh, if you let some of your onions go to seed, you will be able to get seeds off those as well. Super easy, super quick. Let's go look at some beans. Okay, so we've got these green beans. I've let these go. They got kind of big before I picked them. And like, we love these little tender ones. We pick these right off and eat those. But if you get some that are too big, just leave them on there. I leave mine until they are dry. You can see they're starting to change color. They're getting lighter and any beans that I grow I do this the same way you could do this with peas as well and once they are completely dry then you can they kind of rattle a little bit even if they don't rattle once they're completely dry when you bend it just a little it's going to crack and then you could take your bean seeds out and they are all in there and that's what you want i just let them go till they're completely dry and then i just leave them right on the vine i don't even bring them in until they're done and then i'll let them lay them out flat all the bean pods we just lay them out flat and let them just sit and uh for like a week before we package them up super simple and easy let's go look at some cucumbers so for the cucumbers i do it a little bit different I'm going to take my, I just slice my cucumber down the middle and I'm going to take a spoon and scoop these seeds out. And the cut seeds, I really don't want those, but that's okay. And we can save the rest of this cucumber to eat. We just, we want the seeds. And you want to, you know, I've tried to let one get really big. Our cucumbers are kind of funky this year because of the, um, there's not a lot of rain and it's been really really hot so they're kind of yellowy and orangey and they're just not quite right and they're not getting huge like I like them but this will work so I'm just gonna take this and scoop the best I can out of here without damaging these seeds they're pretty tough and again, the cut ones, we don't really want those, but we'll go through those later once we are done. So once I get that all scooped out, I can save these. Perfect. Throw some tuna in there. You got little tuna boats. Yummy. Tuna salad, chicken salad, anything. Saves no bread and it's good for you. So then I'm going to take a plastic container 
and I'm just going to kind of push these seeds out of here into that plastic container. I want to just kind of scrape them out so they're in there. I don't want all that jelly stuff, but some is going to be in there, and that's okay. And you can see it's kind of attached to it and all around it, this like jelly. Tomatoes are the same. I do the same process for tomatoes because of that jelly-like stuff. And just try to get as much of that out as I can. But it's okay if you get some in there. That's not a big problem. Just kind of scrape those out get of there. Seeds. So you can see you get a ton of seeds out of one cucumber. So you definitely get a whole season's worth. If you planted all these cucumbers, you'd be eating them for the rest of your life. Okay, so once I have all my seeds in the container, you can see there's a little bit of that stuff in there, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt it at all. I'm going to take just some fresh filtered water and I'm going to cover these in water. And we're going to put a cover on them. And I like to let them sit overnight. Okay, so once my seeds have sat overnight, I don't do this with seeds that are dry, but the ones that have that jellyish texture, tomatoes, some squashes like pumpkins, real wet and slimy. I do that with these too. Um, so then I'm just going to take these and pour them in a strainer like this. You want something really tight, your seed's not going to go through. And I just kind of move everything around. And I'm going to give them another good rinse real quick. And I save that liquid because it's real good in the garden. You can, you know, don't throw out that water. It's good for your plants. It's got all kinds of nutrients from the cucumbers in it. So you can see these seeds are cleaning up nice. So then I have got just a piece of brown bag or you can use paper towels. Try not to use anything with ink on it, but you know, whatever's free, cheap, I was hanging around the house. Paper towels work really good. Um, and then I'm just going to take these and I'm going to kind of lay them out in here. I want to get the seeds and try and I try to pick out as much of that green stuff as possible. But, you know, nothing's perfect. Once it dries, it's much easier to separate it. And, but you get the gist of this. And then I just, I do it on a piece of paper towel or bag, big enough so I have my seeds laying here and lay this out. And I will just take a Sharpie and write cucumber. Just so I know what's in there in case I forget. Usually I can tell by looking at them, but sometimes my brain doesn't work. And if you're not real good with seeds, it's always a good idea to label them. Because uh, when I look at seeds, a lot of times, I've been doing this long enough, I know what the seed is by looking at it, or pretty close to what it is. There's a lot of different squashes, and the seeds look very similar. So I'm just going to keep picking these out, and then we'll move on to something so else. Once I get all my seeds in here, I'm going to leave them in this for probably a week or so. You want to make sure they're good and dry. This top layer is going to keep dust out. It helps dry it up. And wherever you have a spot, I try not to lay anything on top of this. I want the air to circulate and the paper helps dry it out. So that's, um, I'm not, I'm going to leave these just on a shelf or a counter or wherever I have space, the top of a bookcase, on top of the fridge. Those are all good spots just for like a week and then check them and if they're dry we can package them up sometimes they take a little bit longer depending on the humidity in the air so we just leave these like this that literally is it for this and then packaging them so into whatever you're going to package them in to make them last okay so i've got a bell pepper here these are the easiest ever that's the easiest thing in the whole world um, I'm just gonna pick this up and I'm gonna run my fingers on this and drop the seeds these seeds are dry so you really don't need to rinse them 
you don't need to do anything and these last for years um, we grew our peppers from 2017 seeds this year and they did fabulous so you just keep picking away and you lay your seeds out I try to spread them out the best I can and again I write bell pepper on the top so I know what's in there and then I do have these are from I think a week and a half ago and these are all dried and ready to be packaged up they look pretty close to the same just dry and uh, that is it and this is just from like one pepper that's you get a ton out of one pepper so you really don't need to do a ton of them but you have plenty of seeds for you your family if you did three bell peppers you'd give them away to everybody you know you'd have plenty and there's these seeds are great and we just package in little plastic bags or whatever and they're ready to go and that really is it for seed saving if your seeds are wet and like jelly like on them I soak them overnight and then try to get as much of that jelly off and rinse them in the morning and then let's set them out to dry and if they are pretty dry like bell peppers they just flake right off or um, usually your zucchinis and your crooked neck yellow squash those are pretty dry in there they're not slimy or anything so I just lay those out those slimy ones I rinse everything else you could just lay it out and let it dry it's really not that hard and the beans I leave them right on the bean plant until they are crispy dry and then I bring them in and shuck them after I let them sit for probably a week just to make sure they're dry and then I shuck them and I've got my seeds simple and easy and you've got seeds for next year you don't have to keep buying seeds which is wonderful and if you can't find seeds you have got them and that's it for today if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe I'll see you in the next video. Bye.